Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. Y'all already know I got my scarf on, so that means we are in the trenches of Miami. This is for Love and Hip Hop Miami. I think it's season five, episode 10. Y'all know this the one. If you're new here, Love and Hip Hop Miami is the only show I do where I don't take any notes. So baby, we just be winging it and just talking about it as it comes to our memory, okay? We just gonna talk about it. And we're going to move on and we'll be back here to talk about it again next week. <laughs> so if you enjoy this type of content, check out my other videos. Subscribe. It's a growing channel. Watch the video on all the way through. See if you like it. And, you know, I would love to have you. So come on over. You know, it's free. You're welcome. <laughs> Drop a comment in the comment section. I talk back. So if you like that, then okay you're in the right place so let's go ahead and jump into it let's see who should we start with this week i'm gonna start with Flo, just because the episode started with Flo and it ended with Flo last week so Flo it is <laughs> so we see Flo. we know last week she was being pushed out onto that stage because they said girl if you don't get out here right now you ain't going out there period so she was like my dancer's not here trina not here trina's still not answering the phone I thought it was going to be like, you know, a happy ending to this. I thought she was going to go out there and suddenly Trina was going to arrive and save the day and the crowd was going to go wild. Child, didn't none of that happen, okay? Sis went out there with her Beyonce Renaissance silver on, looking defeated, barely bouncing anything. Just, it was just sad. The people in the audience was like, why is she here? Like, please pass the mic. Okay, who's thank you next? Okay, so the crowd's over it. I'm over it. She barely got off the stage good for she burst into tears. It was so sad. I'm like, Trina, Trina, we gonna get on you next. The dancers, they ain't even show up late. I guess they just said, forget it. There's so much traffic. They just turned around like it was crazy. But Marlon had time to show up like I, oof. mm. But I will say this episode was heavy with the scriptedness, okay? A lot of the storylines. Uh, Mona Scott Young. Come on, come on to the front. We got to make these storylines feel a little more believable. These are not like real actors. They was trying to put on this episode. They gave it the best that they got, but we got to do better, <laughs> okay? We got to make it more believable. Anywho, that's neither here nor there. So as Florence was backstage forcing tears, her her boo, her girlfriend, I don't forgot her name, Claudia, whatever it is. She trying to console her and her sister, they was like, no, because Florence was like, I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. If I, I don't know if I want to do this no more. Am I even supposed to be doing this? They're like, no, we, we ain't quitters. We don't give up. We not going to do that. Here come Marlon like, girl, you did great. You did better than everybody out there. And she listening to it. He calming her down. Now, she said Marlon was a producer on this song. So I feel like he's also getting profit off of these performances. So there's that. But, I mean, <laughs> Claudia, I think her name Claudia. If it's not, child, let me know in the comments, okay? I didn't think the girl, this pretend girlfriend allegedly would be around this long. So I guess I got to remember her name too. But um, she felt the way because she like, oh, as soon as Marlon come, you know, she calm right down and it just don't take nothing. And he mistreated her. Yeah, he mistreated her because later on she referred to him as her ex-husband. That, that's still her husband. He's still her husband. <laughs> so they got years in, kids. Yeah, it's a different type of relationship. OK, but, you know, Marlon, he, he got her to calm down a little bit. So then he was like. You know, after you get your makeup touched out, you gonna go out there and mingle with that crowd and act like the superstar you are. You know, pumping her head up, you know, telling her lies because the the performance just wasn't even <laughs> whatever she thought it was. That's what it was. I mean, sorry, boo. You know, better luck next time. Maybe we shouldn't do like festivals. Maybe we should do small, you know, smaller venues and and ease our way back into the festivals. I know, especially it's a big thing for the Haitian community. I don't know why they care about Trina so much. I don't know why anybody cares about Trina so much, but that's besides the point. <laughs> but, you know, she getting her makeup touched up. So, like, they in the trailer, everybody in the trailer, and farther in the back is, you know, the friend, girl, girlfriend, whatever. 
her one sister, Joyce, I believe, and then Gael, you know, the one that he was messing with, his his mistress and her sister. That's, that's the thing for me. Every time I see them all just casually moving on without a care, it's like, did y'all forget that last season y'all had this storyline? <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all forget? Because everybody just, I would never have my sister and my ex around each other ever again. Okay. Uh, mm -mm. So Marlon mentions to the other sister, Joyce, he was like, yeah, like he bringing up the relationship and asking Caroline or, you know, whoever he like, yeah, <laughs> what's going on with y'all relationship? And then um, the sister was like, Joyce was like, hold on, what? And he was like, yeah, you didn't know they was rubbing and touching and and getting entangled between the sheets. Yeah, they go together. They say they go together. And Marlon said his confessional, he thinks Flo just trying to make him jealous. I just think it's for a storyline, but that's just my thoughts. <laughs> you let me know y'all. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, okay? But, you know, Caroline or Kathleen was like, listen, that's not for me to explain. That's, that's none of my business. Like, that's not my place. I don't got no answers for you. Ask Flo. And I think that was the right thing to do. I'm not stepping in and explaining nothing to ask Flo. Because she was like, Flo don't want to do this today. She's already crying from that terrible performance. Please, enough. So later, they I, it looked like two homegirls sitting there. But they were supposed to be on a romantic date. But Flo, like, still down in the dumps about the performance. And then um, her boo was like, yeah, oh, and by the way... Yo, ex-husband, who's not your ex-husband, he's still your, he's your estranged husband at best. Not really estranged, because y'all still kicking it, like. <laughs> anyway, yo man, we're going to tell everybody that we messing around. And she's like, oh, he told the one sister, she going to tell my mama, like, she, she had a, she loose lip, big mouth. She definitely going to run and tell it. I got to now have to say something. So they go on later on and she introduces the friend and I'm like, she said that there was friends for all these years and she'd been around everybody else know her. So I'm like, y'all been close friends like that. And mama never met her. What's that about? But I mean, I guess mamas don't meet everybody. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she introduced her. She's like, yeah, this is my girlfriend. And mama was like, girl, please, where is Marlon at? Like, I don't, I don't got time for this. You and your phases. Where is my son-in-law? <laughs> and she was like, um, Flo was like, listen, this is who I'm with now. I'm not with Marlon. And mama was like, listen, Marlon is my son. I love him more than I love you. Where is he? <laughs> I don't have time for this. So my mom was eventually was like, look, we in America. You can do what you want to do. But heavy on the B-U-T, this woman can't take care of you and your children. So you need a man like Marlon. The same Marlon who slept with my other daughter. You need that kind of man in your life. Like, mama, just because you like him and you familiar with what do you like about him? Because if my mama would have found out he cheated on me, my mama would never, I don't fool with him, you don't fool with him. My mama would never speak to him again. Period. <laughs> but mama, this mama encouraging the madness, please make it make sense. And she is like adamant. Like, goodness, that's, he's like the son she never had. Like, was he paying mama's bills or something? What's going on? So, next thing you know, Gael started arguing back and forth, um, you know, with <laughs> canola oil. <laughs> Shout out to Insecure when it was calling Cameroon all them names. If you know, you know. <laughs> but she, it was like, cause she, you know, the girlfriend was like, ain't you the sister that slept with her husband? Oh, yeah, girl. Move around. Try again. So, they going back and forth. She like, you trash. You shouldn't be here. The girlfriend threw something at her. And the girl like, I'm ready to go. And Flo was like, I got to talk to my mama. And mama was like, listen, mm -mm. what you doing? No. We're going to see how this all plays out. She be, when I say Flo be coming up with these storylines, getting the family involved to keep his, these love and hip hop checks, honey. Okay. So then we have Trina. And... Trina, who don't care about nobody but herself, always looking tired and sleep deprived. Trina has um, she's at the radio station and she's talking about Trina Day. So we know her niece, unfortunately, passed away. Rest in peace to the niece. My condolences to Trina and her loved ones. That That's heavy. I mean, poor baby was only 17. So she going to have the Trina Day dedicated to the niece on her birthday where she would have been 18. 
um, Trick Daddy's play nieces, the twins, was sitting there because they was like, we do, did our due, dil- our due diligence and tracked Trina down. We know she was going to be here. So they don't care that she's grieving. They want to try to get signed. And they feel like Trick ain't doing it fast enough. He got them working at the restaurant. And they ain't come to Miami or the fast food restaurant at that. They ain't come for that. Okay? They, they trying to get on. Be TikTok famous, if you will. <laughs> With them raps, that's about as far as they'll go. But it ain't what I think. It ain't what I think. So, Trina's talking about, you know, her upcoming endeavors, and then we got Super Sydney, and, you know, every time I see Super Sydney, I think about Mona Scott, but Super Sydney up there with her wig pulled down to the front, talking about that um, women, empowering women mixtape that she want to drop. Did it drop? How long ago did they film this? Because when is this going to drop? Goodness gracious. Was it for the Miami streets only? I have not heard of this album yet. I mean, now would be the time to push it since, I mean, the show was on. I'm just saying, we've been talking about it every episode. Where is it? <laughs> Who's on it? Trina and Trina alone? But Trina go to leave. She get on the elevator. She walking out. And then the twins start rapping. Like, they bum rush her and just start rapping. Like, and Trina like, okay. She bobbing her head like, mm-hmm. Get these girls up on my face. They must not know. That's the most friendliest I've ever seen Trina on this franchise <laughs> the fact that she even was bobbing her head acting like she was pretending to be interested was a lot so they got all hyped they was like we did that we did our thing we don't gotta worry about trick like we did this on our own they're gonna be calling us no time how they gonna be calling you trina did not ask for your contact information i don't remember trina having no record label or nothing she didn't say she was trying to sign nobody like girl what are you saying what are you talking about so later on in trina day you know, she got her event, the city come out, because, you know, it's a, it's a queen of Miami's event. So, Miami got to show face. So, the twins is there. <clears throat> and they see her brother. So, he like, they was like, we trying to talk to Trina. Like, they, she ain't call us yet. Like, we trying to rap for her again. In case you ain't heard us the first time, you're going to hear us this time, right now. And the brother like, you know what? I mean, her mood is nasty and mean-spirited. She got a mean disdain on her. And she probably won't talk to you. But I can try. <laughs> and it's like, why are you setting him up for failure? He looking like, well, y'all fine. So I'm going to just do it. Since, you know, off the strength of trick. You did it off of the strength of attraction. Because why you throw your arms around them? They barely walked half an inch before she said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You and your entourage can go. And matter of fact, if you with them, brother, you can get gone too. This tent is for family only. I mean, Bobby Lights barely made it by the skin of his teeth. So she like, listen, this is only for family, not for them. And the twins is like, mm, that was so nasty, so rude. For once, I hate to do it, but I got the side with Trina on this one. Them twins are annoying. <laughs> like, goodness. Y'all were sitting there when y'all heard her say this is going to be a heavy day. She's going to be honoring her late niece. Why would you think that now would be the time? And you have the biggest connect to Trina as possible. Trick Daddy. If he, he know, so if he didn't put you on, then you ain't ready to meet her yet. <laughs> it would have probably been received better if he would have introduced y'all than y'all trying to do whatever y'all doing on y'all own. Because then when y'all try again, she going to be like, those those two annoying twins who got on my nerves at Trina Day. It ain't looking good for you. It's not. Mm-mm. And I haven't got to mention Zoe Brinks last week because, I mean, so many other things happening. But I remember when uh, Zoe was, because when Trina was like, nice to meet you. And she's like, we've already met. But I looked on Zoe's Instagram and she said that she and Trina actually met two years ago. And Trina was like, oh, she's Trina said on video, it was recorded. Like, oh, you're doing great. You next up, this and that. I don't know why she was acting so stank on the show. I don't know if the producers told her to be this way or what. But I don't see it for these twins. And I don't even really think they want to rap. I think they should just be like, we want to be influencers. Like, that's okay. Just do that. <laughs> Rapping. I don't even know what they was rapping about when they jumped off that elevator. I'd have been like, get the, y'all got to get up out of my face. Okay. And I like, I am like the friendliest person. But don't, don't bombard me like that. I don't like that. <laughs> and now here you go again. again. Like she said, this is for family only. And y'all still, well, we just wanted, I don't care what you wanted to do. Not the time, not the place. I, mm. So, Trina, I'm going to give you a pass this one time and this one time only because I'm sure you're going to be nasty and rude again next week. So, moving on from there. Then, who else do we have? Oh, I almost forgot again about 
you know, snooze fest <laughs> scenes with Princess and Ray J. I don't know why Princess and Ray J are in the opening credits. We can remove them. Ray J, I would say he could be Safari's friend, but why is Safari a cast member? Like, these people should not be cast members. We got a bunch of people that should be friends of getting together. <clears throat> so Amara goes over to Princess and Ray J's house. And then Amara tells Princess, because she was Princess was like, how are you and Safari doing? And basically she like, we ain't together. And Princess was like, y'all not, wait, what? Because Ray J had just so happened to invite Safari over. If they were together, why would they come separate? Why would this be news to her? Well, don't you think they would have talked about this and been like, oh, well, Princess invited me over. Oh, well, Ray invited me over too. So clearly they're not together. And what's even more clear is that this was obviously a setup and a scheme and a plot that Ray J set up to come at us with the BS. <laughs> but Amanda sitting there, I don't know if she had to cut back on her wig budget when she had them twins. It's not the bang, so I ain't going to give her too much. I'm just saying. But she's sitting there. He Safari show up. And Ray J like, oh, hey. And Amada like, uh-uh, bye. Hi, bye. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want nothing to do with him. I don't want to see him. Mm-mm. Get him up out of my face. And Princess like, how you going to let him control you? You going to let him run you off? Every time you see him, you going to run away? And Amada was like, I guess you right, girl. You you wasn't going nowhere. You got to film. So she come back. It's Safari being all stubborn. And then she finally like, I don't even know what we was arguing about. Once y'all start throwing drinks and stuff, like... <laughs> I don't know. The attention's a little for Amada to say this was a fake storyline. This relationship was fake. It's just a little too much passion between these two. More so on her end. For me, I think there was some kind of feelings at some point. But they was like, look, we don't even really know what we was arguing about. Like, you know, the social media and everything was just getting in the way. And I was getting jealous and you was getting jealous. And Safari even threw Ray J under the bus because Amada was like, you thought I was going there, going to DR to see my baby daddy when I was going to see my father who had a common cold. And Ray J and Safari was like, yeah, Ray J's the one that told me about it. And Ray J stumbling and fumbling, trying to think of a lie. Like, Safari, you low down for throwing Ray J under that bus. <laughs> but they, I guess, made up. But we know they ain't together now. So there's that. Speaking of people who doing all this on camera, but not living that in real life. Suki going around complaining about how people just won't accept the new her. She wants to have a change her image. But we know in current day, like today's date, she's being the same old Suki she always been. And I'm going I'm to say, leave it there at that. So I don't know if this was whole switch was supposed to be about. But for what? You know you wasn't changing no image, so why? So, where did she start off? Child, I forgot. But I know she was meeting with Super Cindy at the radio station. So, she thinking Cindy going to be talking about that, that song, Casamigos. Was that only played in Miami? I never heard of that song until the season started. I mean, it sounds good, but I just, maybe I don't, maybe I just don't know what's out here anymore. Maybe I'm, I'm getting old. Because <laughs> I ain't never heard that song on the radio a day in my life. But, um. You know, I don't live in Miami either. So she was like, yeah, I thought she was coming, you know, call me in here to talk about that. Because Cindy was like, well, if the interview goes well, I mean, I've known Suki for a while. Let's see how the interview goes. And if it goes well, then I'll invite her to be on that Queens, um, Uplift Queens or whatever it's called, CD that nobody's going to hear. So she started. So Cindy started asking like, yeah, what about your OnlyFans that got leaked? Ugh, let's not bring that back up. Or when NLE Chopper was walking you like a dog in the park. Her and Sexy Red. Mm, 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 mm. Or when you had that song, Eating. Whew, child. So Suki embarrassed, like, please stop bringing that up. Oh, my gosh. Girl, you was saying it, doing it, living it. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed now. You was talking about she was in London. You was in London talking about he just ate my, he want to switch. Don't act so, uh, don't act like you, you know, you're a little shy now. We know you ain't. But, um, she was like, I don't know why you're bringing that up. I came here to promote Casamigos. Like, she was like, don't, and y'all, I had a pass. Okay, I had a pass. Like, you act like you didn't have a, a HOE phase. And Cindy was like, yeah, I mean, if I like somebody, she like, no. I mean, you know, if you like somebody, it's just because you like sleeping around. You like getting the D. That's what that was. So, um, 
this had to have been for a storyline because ain't no way you would have been sitting up in my space talking to me like that. You, she would have got up out of there so fast, wouldn't even finish that sentence. You ain't going to be sitting here doing all this extraness. Then she was like, let me see them notes. What you writing down? And first Cindy snatched it away like, girl, what you doing? Then she's like, fine, you can have it. I mean, it's the questions I already asked you anyway. And Suki barely able to see and read. And I'm like, no, who would really do all that? Like, who would really do that? And then the security's there. That wouldn't really happen unless this was staged. <laughs> but I digress. So they going back and forth. And um, Suki, like, Mona, I mean, Sydney, you got to pass. We, we all got to pass. Everybody isn't a loosey-goosey, okay? Be clear. <laughs> and the furthermore, if she had to pass... Her business ain't out in the streets like yours is. Like, Suki, you doing your business out on the streets for everybody to talk about, okay? You did all of this to get famous, and you cry and complain about being famous for nonsense. This is what you did that for. You did that to get to this moment, to be on this show. So this is what you wanted. You asked for it, you got it, okay? Cindy come from the, she from the era where it's my word against yours, this is before you could, uh, ain't no camera footage and none of that. It's he say, she say, okay. <laughs> he said, I did it. I said, I didn't. It's my word against yours. What you going to do about it? <laughs> so later, Suki's so distraught that everybody keeps talking about her. She tried to say past, but it's her present and current day and future. So she go to her sister's house. The sister who barely ever says a word. I don't know why she's there. Like, I know you're trying to help your sister get a check, but your sister don't talk. Find somebody else. Go to Bobby Light's house. Somebody who would give some feedback. And she'll be like, oh, I'm just, everybody just thinks I'm a famous person. I can just take all this, but I'm just a regular human being that has emotions and feelings. And I, uh, and she just bust out in the, in the tears. And it was like so emotional, but dry eyed at the same time. She ran to the bathroom. When I say, is this a soap opera? What's, what's happening? <laughs> How did we get here? Okay, I don't understand. What? Yes, I understand. She has emotions. She's human like us. Ooh, being a celebrity child. Because people be cutting up in the YouTube comments, okay? I can only imagine I'm minding my business scrolling down and seeing, you know, people <laughs> talking about me left and right. I can't do nothing about it. But, uh, sis... He was rolling around on the floor at the VMAs the other day. Like, please, girl, cut it out. We don't care. <laughs> it's hard to have compassion when you don't have compassion for yourself to stop doing these antics. Okay? You she ain't turn no new leaf. When she actually turns over a new leaf, then we'll talk about it. Talking about I'm still growing, I'm still learning. Girl, you in your thirties with three kids. How much more or <laughs> how much more do we have to learn in this stage and phase? We should be moving on to our next phase of life. See, everybody want to keep her there, and she want to, and she know herself, so she gonna stay right there, okay? Especially after we seen Sexy Red Gibby, now she gonna stay right in the thick of it. She gonna be singing about that crazy stuff and doing all the same stuff she normally do because it gets y'all talking, okay? And me talking on this YouTube channel. But after her dramatics, we see the clip for next week. I think I got everything. So if I miss something, let me know. Be sure to check out my other content. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.